So for the last almost three months, we've been flying around the world in um, a plane that we got. Um, and as well as having this incredible adventure, me and JP, it's been this awesome opportunity to create something bigger than I've ever done before. So guys, Rainy has a fun fact for you today. The breakfast, the amazing breakfast that we just had, most likely is the same breakfast that Ludacris had, because uh, the girl who owns the food truck is uh, Ludacris's personal chef. That's insane. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the first talk of the summit for me, and it's about giving up normality to travel um, by Jax. Giving up on normality to travel the world. Um, so I'm imagining everybody in this room wants to give up on normality and travel the world. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the yeah, most so. part. I want to tell you like a, like kind of a, a way to convince your mind in a way uh, that you are worthy of something or to manifest something. So um, I stopped by a stationery store when I was doing laundry and this is before I had any sort of contract whatsoever. And so <laughs> I stopped in and I wanted to buy myself a special pen. And <laughs> sorry, I might <laughs> tear up on this one, but I wanted to get a special pen. And <laughs> the reason I wanted to get a special pen is so I would be ready to sign my first contract when it was when it was coming, you know, to me. So, <laughs> sorry. Yeah! <laughs> so I bought a special pen with the intention of signing a contract. And whether you believe in God or the universe or whatever, if you do something with intention, it, the craziest things can happen. So a few weeks later after I bought this special pen, I was signing my first contract. No so, way! Yeah. That's awesome. So if there's if there's something that you can do to convince yourself, like you know, to prepare yourself in a way, in a responsible way, to prepare yourself for that dream to come true. So guys, the talk of Jax was awesome. It was inspirational and it just makes you want to pack your bags and leave your normal nine to five job and basically just live in freedom but yeah I mean it's good it kind of keeps you it keeps you focused on your dream and keeps you working on what you really want in life and I really encourage you guys if you have a similar dream or something that you want to do go to these type of events they will push you and they will help you to move forward and they will give you inspiration now there is a talk happening about humanitarian photography I think so I'm gonna go and have a listen there Dinner table or anywhere and we could sit down next to someone and know that we're gonna meet a genuine person that that loves to create or loves to watch creativity and travel and and get to know each other and, and be inspired immediately and that's kind of like the culture we want to create in the world um, as much as we'd love to just all live here and uh, have this as our tribe we uh, I think we get to come taste this kind of culture and see what it feels like and then we get to go back into our homes or where we're from and hopefully spread that positivity and create it there you know we don't need um, LTA to host event to host an event like this we can we just need ourselves and we need our like what Jack said his intention is everything like your entire reality of your whole reality is in creative your intention and your attention and those two things create your entire existence So guys, apparently JP is about to fly by. So let's see if we can get a shot of the beautiful Baloo airplane. When you had your, um, like, woo! When you were filming yesterday of the landing, yeah. I was like yapping in the background. Going, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. And I was like, oh no. Tell me 
what the project has been about. So for the last <laughs> almost three months, we've been flying around the world in um, a plane that we got. Um, and as well as having this incredible adventure, me and JP, it's been this awesome opportunity to create something bigger than I've ever done before. Like I've been vlogging for like five years on YouTube. But to be able to create this documentary and think, okay, we're gonna be able to create this kind of final feature length movie that hopefully reaches far beyond like the audience I've gained on, online and uh, yeah hopefully explore some really big issues in the world I think one of the big things I've noticed is like this division especially in in the news it's all about conflict it's about closing the borders and building walls and for me I think we wanted to celebrate kind of global diversity, show how we're all humans, like we're, we're, we're all connected. And being able to do it in this tiny plane, it feels like we're on this road trip. It's like this really small plane to be able to dip in and out of countries and meet local people and kind of uh, explore for ourselves what humanity is and what makes us all tick. And we did a bunch of interviews. I've got like 30 or 40 people interviewed from around the world. That was a new thing for me. So it's like pushing outside of my comfort zones. But yeah, I think hopefully we'll We'll have a, an awesome documentary, That's and we're awesome. we're pre we're we're doing pre-orders at the moment, and I think I don't know, but I'm imagining kind of mid next year it'll be ready and completed and ready for people to watch. So good to know. And where can they find like the the whole info online about? So um, flybeyondborders.com is the website, and on there you can see a bunch of posts about what we've been up to, the route that we've flown, and then also. Um, <laughs> pre-order the documentary on the website. Awesome, yeah. thank you. Cool. <laughs> I think it was after about two minutes uh, of Louis and JP meeting for the very first time that the idea sparked to this crazy concept of flying around the world in a one prop light aircraft. And we are right here because that dream, that reality has actually happened. So please, without any further ado, can we please make some noise as loud as you can Woo! for JP and Louis. <laughs> So I mean, mo most of us, if not all of us here, will be used to flying and, and a 12 hour flight to get here from Europe is, is you know, or even further afield is pretty common. You guys flew 14 hours from, from Hawaii to here. Um, talk to us a little bit about how you go to the toilet in those type of situations. <laughs> you don't, basically. Um, that was, that was probably one of the things we spoke about the most during this trip is like, what if we need to go number two? Like, it's just... It's gonna be so bad because Louis likes spicy food and I like I like curry too. So it was a constant. That was probably the biggest risk of this trip. Like, I mean, I know of a guy that flew around the world that had to do it with his with his co-pilot, and uh, I don't think they looked at each other for a while. So, <laughs> or some of, some of your favorite memories that that you'll take with you for many many years of uh, the whole trip. It's funny. I was just thinking like some of the moments like. Even thinking back to like the, the day we flew out of here, like almost three months ago, it's like it was so interesting. It was like so understated. Um, there's only one guy that like it was like our leaving. He was like our leaving posse, just like waving us off. Like he he actually like drove us down to a restaurant the night before, and then we told him what we're doing. He's like, what? He's the only Uber driver. <laughs> yeah, he's the only Uber driver in the whole area. And he came down. He was here last night. I don't know if anyone met him. What's his name again? Dave, maybe. Jim. 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 Anyway, so he came, he he came down in the morning as we were like flying out with uh, some coffee for us. It's so nice, and then we got a photo with him, and then we took off. But that moment of taking off and just, I remember being like, I like, bro, uh, imagine the feeling when we land back here. Like it was kind of that projection of like, and we were just grinning and, you know, flying off, and it was, you know, the sun was rising. It was just so beautiful. And normally you're quite high up and stuff's just slowly moving below, but when you see clouds like rushing past and you're like cruising in and out and you you feel like you can almost touch them they're just like big fluffy marshmallows just right there and you're just like yeah. cruising in and out for me that was like the biggest buzz of the kind of actual flying when we're in the air so
Good morning everybody. It is early in the morning. I forgot to end the vlog yesterday because we had so much fun. <laughs> there was a little bit of a party going on. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, we were dancing, we were laughing, we were having fun under the stars. It was insane. It was such a lovely last evening. And yeah, so today, I don't know what the plan is today to be honest, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. That really helps my channel. Subscribe if you didn't already. And yeah, I wish you a wonderful week and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.